Hello everyone and welcome back to our Space Engineers Small Ship Gone Large build. Today we're going to be doing a lot of maintenance on the whole ship and trying to redesign the hangar to fit a larger ship. I Once I started really thinking about how I wanted the ship to function, I immediately realized I wanted some type of smaller runaround vehicle that can hold a rover. And I found a... Uh, workshop blueprint that had a uh, the pelican from Halo and that's kind of the size that I kind of sell on. So I use that to kind of get a good representation of size. I also end up finding that uh, my rebuild of the yellow ship, the, what's it called, the spawn ship, the old spawn ship, I rebuilt it in small blocks a while ago. That also is going to fit in the hangar so it's a really nice size that I landed on. Uh, something we didn't get to in this episode was the doors, that's something that's for next episode. Uh, I did do a lot of, uh, a lot of very generalistic shapes. So a lot of this is going to be kind of pre-white box, and this is kind of the biggest issue with going into a project without concepting anything first, is nothing really lines up in this episode, and there's going to be a lot of backtracking but cutting out large portions of the ship to redefine the actual shape and I cannot wait to be done with the outside because this weird arch shape is really hard to build in and really hard to get to look cohesive so even though I have these notches in the ship to increase its size it's really hard to make each of, each of the notches seem like they're cohesive so it's not just a wider portion of the ship so yeah so one of the things I like to do and I don't think I've done this yet so this is what we're building here is a heart block or I like to call them basically a block that has thrusters in every direction and uh, gyroscopes and then you're able to attach them to your uh, dynamic constructs, but they can stay reasonably stable. That way if you run into them or other ships run into them, they, uh, they're still dynamic, but they don't like to move. So it's, yeah, I don't know why I don't just turn them into uh, stations, then convert them back. I guess it used to be that small ships couldn't do that. And for a long time I had a uh, modded version, but I never built a uh, static version, or a vanilla version, not static. So that's a little hard block. I actually did miss the up and down thrusters, so that's going to come and bite me in a minute. And this is all so we can try and pilot a, what is it, the Pelican blueprint thing ship. Uh, I'm sure you can just search Pelican on the workshop and you'll find it. That's kind of. They don't stay. They they are very much a temporary thing. We also had to modify it slightly to get the chair to actually fit. It's it's fine. I only need the exterior dimensions. So from the original size of the, uh, uh, the area that we took out, and we are making the walls slightly higher. I don't know if we made it taller at all, but it was just kind of slightly more in almost every dimension. Yeah, another reason that working with the the kind of arches. The arch kind of shape is just terrible and hard to work with. If you don't remember to put corner blocks in with every slant piece, with every slope, you end up with giant pieces falling off your ship because it was a corner piece and they weren't attached by anything else. Not so fun. So, I measured out 
the largest part of the interior that we have, and it didn't come quite as far out as the, uh, the bit we have here for this hanger bit. So I was kind of thinking, why not just move the hanger backwards in the ship to, to the back of it? But unfortunately, that wasn't going to work. And this is where this is where it starts going very, very, very wrong because it's not attached to the ship. I probably should have gotten the base dimensions and then tried to uh, make a shape out of it. But I made a shape out of it and then tried to attach it back to the ship, and that did did not work in the slightest. And we actually end up. I think we end up not using this module at all. I think that's what actually <laughs> what actually happens. So here's the final kind of fit. <laughs> now this is not built to nicely fit the pelican. This is built for the pelican rough size. Like the wings on the pelican don't need to be there, so I wasn't accounting for them and so many other things. And that's when I realized that the heart blocks didn't have up and down. I don't think I actually updated this, I should probably update those for oh, my blueprints. So there's the there's a the rough fit of it. And a very basic kind of uh, layout. I don't know why I chose the Belkin, it just kind of felt like the, uh, the correct size. And that's what most of this build has been for most of the build, is whatever feels good to the build. That's a very not great way to build if you're trying to go for any type of uh, consistency or getting anything cohesive yeah because it's it's not gonna line up from day to day so it's going to just be very very difficult when you come back around to portions of the the build that you've done a week or a month ago because when when something felt good like the bridge is a perfect example when I built the bridge I loved it then I went back and like it's way too small it's far, far too small. That's why you should always start with some type of, at least a paragraph or some sentence of design. That way you have something guiding your projects. I, I am slowly building that as we go. Like there's gonna be, how many, on the, on the uh, ship itself, the crew, there's gonna be a scientist from every major branch of science. There's gonna be a full flight crew. I think that's I think that's everyone who needs to be there. A full science crew, a full space, a full uh, piloting crew. I don't think we need a military on board because it's just sciencey ships. They can call for distress if they need it. Uh, so that means we have to now have I haven't gone and counted the branches of science or the how many redundant. Uh, flight staff we need, so we're going to need a captain, we're going to need at least two pilots, a navigator, maybe a second navigator, but we'll stick with one for now. Um, systems, we're going to call it systems, we're going to need two systems people, kind of like general people who can do stuff with the computers on board that aren't the scientists. And then at least one engineer. Yeah, we'll plan for, I don't know, ship this size, we'll plan for three engineers. That's already ten people. So we're looking at about fifteen people that this needs to support. And that's not just, like, seats for them, that's also uh, rooms for them. So quarters and a kitchen that can support that many people. I think the kitchen is going to be based on the, I think it's the Idris kitchen? I really like the uh, the wider kitchen. I think it's the address. I will post a picture when we actually go to that, I think. If I can remember to actually find the stupid picture and post it. But when we when we do do the when we do the kitchen, I'll 
try and post that in the description. That's another thing I didn't have for this is any inspiration. I was just kind of throwing blocks at each other and hoping it came out well and I'm gonna be honest, it didn't didn't really didn't really turn out well. So this is where I realized that everything had gone terrible because the uh module didn't match any of the other shapes and it's just very it's a lot larger than even the back end in the middle it's very boxy so most of the rest of the episode is kind of figuring out how we fit that into everything I think we we almost get rid of the what's it the unique shape of it. I think we just take the shape of the portion portion of the ship right behind it and extend it forward, which creates it a very bland, samey. I don't even know what to call it. Other than that, too much of the same surfaces. So where most the other most of the other parts of the ship have a pretty consistent this much ship and then a ledge it creates this middle section that's very very zany it's not great i also do way too much cleaning up of the inside so we don't get a lot of the uh, fixing of the out exterior shape and I suppose it was because my brain just wasn't able to come up with good designs for how to fix the outside shape. So, yeah, that's something we're going to have to figure out how to fix the outside shape without catastrophically changing the section in front of it or the dimensions of the hangar itself. I might be able to do something with kind of a sweeping edge in the beginning because we'll see in a minute the starter yellow ship from previous versions of uh, Space Engineers. I can't believe they took that out. I'm so glad I got a, uh, a copy of the yellow ship before they took it out. I really like the yellow ship. I don't know why I like it so much, but I really like it. So here is the test. I think we actually ripped the roof off for this test. And we're gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna be the next episode or the next, next episode, but we'll be making some bespoke mechanic doors. And they're gonna come off one to either side, kinda like the space shuttle. And that way it will, I don't know if we'll be able to make it seal, but I will try to make it seal, cause that'd be kind of dumb to have the giant middle section of the ship not seal. And plus it, would make way more sense if it was able to seal. We also want a ramp somewhere in here. So, yeah, so there's plenty of space in this whole thing. We can even rip off the roof farther back so we have more room to make mechanisms or shape up front. So yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do is plan for the shape of the hangar to taper off from the existing parts of the front front end of the ship. And most of this, most of the rest of the uh, video is gonna be trying to f figure out what on earth I do now because the shape difference between everything else and there's a lot of extra geometry on the inside. So I, while trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing, I go to work on Cleaning up the inside of the rear spot area. Also put back in the slant, which I kind of like. Uh, there are some a couple of things that we do for the towards the end. Um, oh no, it's right here. Shall we forget? We did that here. Thought we did that way later. Anyway, so we take this the side of the hangar and we make these weird kind of struts support things and we're able to make a giant I think it's 15 or 20 by 10 windows 
just massive windows. And that will give the higher class kind of feel to it, being it's glass, but it also gives the, uh, the industrial kind of look, like I was saying in the last episode. So that's something that's gonna very help, very much help with that. English is not happening. So yeah, I was supposed to have this video done by now because it's supposed to be out in two hours. So that's why. If this, if the voiceover seems kind of erratic and terrible for this episode, that that's why. So there's a piece of glass. And I realized that one, it's one block too short, so I have to go and rip out everything. And it's, I think, four blocks to, uh, from front to back too short. Ugh. Yeah. So much. Yeah, this is, like, this is a prime example of going into something without a plan. It was, it was bad. But it should, uh, should be much better in the next episode, and I, I just, I've been scared of this project for kind of this week, because I don't want it to end up like every other ship, and just a burnout kind of scenario, where I don't want to touch the ship. So I'm, I'm trying to kind of bounce around different parts of it to make sure I don't get burnt out, but yeah, the more I work on it, the more details I have to figure out, the harder it is to figure out details. So we will, we will definitely see, I need to figure out how to take a break from this for a week or two. I'm not taking a break from it this week, so there will be another, another episode next week. I just, I don't know what do in the meantime so we're gonna try and have a catwalk kind of shape so two catwalks on either side of the hangar I don't know how much that's going to interfere with ships landing so it's like it looks like a good idea but functionally it sounds like a really really bad idea so we shall we shall see I found that I had this entire little cubby over there and there's a lot of a lot of extra space back here when we were trying to figure out how to break up the shape of the back end I just was kind of making lots of not random blocks but blocks on top of blocks to build it out and so this is figuring out we have almost twice as twice as much space as I thought I had back here so that's gonna give us a good amount of stuff to, or room to put in ship systems and rooms and things. I still don't know what I want the engine room to function like. So that's gonna be interesting. Back in the fall, gonna be a lot of piping though. And we're gonna need to have some type of engine room, not engine room, but a hydrogen generation room. So that'll be interesting because all the pipes from the hydrogen engines will come back to that room. So this is trying to remedy or try to find some way to make the, the different sizes, the ledges not so noticeable. And it kind of works down here, kind of doesn't. I try these stupid one block Y just details again it just doesn't work there's just something wrong with this bottom sloping edge I don't know if it's like the bottom of the ship needs to come down a bit it probably does uh, we could probably figure out how to do that I also add these I think it's here these much wider kind of areas I thought it would be really nice to have uh, some quarters in here for the simple effect of it'd be really easy to put in some windows and that's one of the things I want to be very prevalent in this is use of windows I was actually watching a video at the 600 high from Star Citizen and it was uh, so they were explaining that in these luxury ships there should be more windows because 
windows. Uh, and in Star Citizen, they're apparently super strong windows. So I tried making a, like, a little edge that went horribly. It, yeah. Like I said, I was just kind of not sure how to reconcile the largeness of this section with the rest of the ship. Especially the front end. So, yeah, probably doing some tapering in the next episode. Which means we're going to move the... Um, weird strut things down but it'll be pretty simple because I can just cut a block around them and then uh, be able to just move them uh, aside but that is all I got for you guys today I hope you have enjoyed this episode be sure to like the video if you liked it and I'll be back next Monday for the next episode so subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment about any suggestions you have for the ship uh, and any any kind of uh, other things I should try with thing and what you guys think of the project so far. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.